To, uh, now demonstrate one of the uh, root cause analysis tools that we talked about in the previous lesson. Uh, we're going to take a look at the fishbone diagram and I think the best way to really understand it is to actually see it uh, being done in person. So what I did is I invited a couple of people from Titan Air. Uh, we have uh, Lee uh, from Operations and uh, we have uh, Sammy from Dispatch that is going to uh, help us uh, in coming up with the root cause of a real-life problem uh, that has occurred at Titan Air. Uh, the problem that we're going to be tackling today with the fishbone diagram is uh, basically this. Uh, on pushback, we had a tow bar that had a locking pin that was missing. And um, the tow bar, I guess, came loose. Maybe it was uh, jogged by some rock or something in the road that, that or the runway that uh, that occurred and uh, it caused the uh, tow bar to actually break away and the aircraft to be free float running without the uh, tractor and uh, that's a bit, very bad situation. So we're going to try to see if we can uh, come up with some root causes or causal factors for this particular problem. Okay, we're going to begin the process of uh, actually coming up with the root cause. And um, I'm going to um, be using Lee and Sammy to help me come up with some brainstorming of root causes. And this is the way you actually would perform this at your company. Uh, you have to have somebody that's going to lead this session. And uh, it should be somebody that uh, is, uh, is pretty good with the communication. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, take a look uh, a little bit tighter at the board so you can see exactly what I'm doing. First thing you do in a uh, root cause analysis is you draw a big spine. And I just draw a line right across the board here. And uh, we like to identify the problem at the end of the, of the line here. So our problem here was the uh, missing pin or the missing safety pin. Uh, in the tow bar that caused the uh, plane to uh, actually break away that we mentioned uh, before. So what we like to do now is we like to um, break all of our categories down into compartments. And um, in fishbone diagram we like to use the Deming inputs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw five spines off of the main line that we put on our board here. So we, you can start out with, um, with five spines, but you can actually add others if people feel like they need to uh, have a different category to look at. For example, I know a lot of aircraft companies, they like human factors to be one of the spines. But I'm going to use uh, Deming's uh, spines which are um, machines. So we're going to call this first one right here machines. This is going to be material. And you should have these memorized by now. Then we have people. And we have um, environment. And then we have methods. And of course, like I said, you can add some more if you want to, but uh, we'd, like to, we'd like to begin with these uh, five spines here. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to have a brainstorming session. I'm going to go around the room and we're going to just uh, think about possible causes uh, in each of these categories that would have caused the missing safety pin. So uh, we'll start out with uh, Lee. And uh, Lee, what do you think in the machine area, what do you think could have been a possible cause? Uh, maybe the pin broke. Okay, maybe the pin broke. Okay, we'll write that down. Remember, no answer is, uh, is wrong. And uh, maybe, um, Sam, you could uh, contribute something here in the machine area. Um, uh, old tow bar? Yeah, yes, the tow bars are old, I understand. Right, so that could be it. Anything else in the machine area? Maybe it was the wrong tractor. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, if we used a too, hard, too uh, big a tractor for that uh, tow bar, right, that would have maybe caused the problem. All right, anything else in the machine area? OK, 
Okay, let's uh, go now to the next area, material. Uh, let's focus in on now the uh, what the tow bar is made of. Is there any any problems that you think could have uh, caused this to happen there? Maybe the tow bar was junk. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, junk, right, tow bar. Okay, any others? Um, maybe the metal is poor. Okay, yeah, metal poor. All right, anything else? Maybe the pin wasn't secured properly. Ah, that could be. Improper, okay. Anything else in the materials area? No? All right, let's move on to people. Now think about the people that are involved uh, in, in doing this. And uh, I know, Sammy, you're, you work in that area, so you can probably contribute something in this area. What do you think? Uh, maybe the training, the people. Uh, yeah, you know, everything always kind of boils down to training, right? But uh, we need to list that under people. What else uh, could have, uh, uh, you know, people could have caused uh, in this problem? Maybe there was no observation of the people. Oh, you mean like people looking at the uh, tow bar? Yes. Yeah, okay, no observation of the tow bar, right? Somebody would have maybe seen the pin missing. Anything else along, along the people line? Maybe wrong people was doing it. Oh, you mean people that yeah. maybe shouldn't have been there, right? Yeah. Hey, that's possible. Wrong well, people. Okay, anything else in the people area? Maybe the people were rushed. Oh, people rushed. Now, you really think that's going to be in the people area? Well, we'll, I, oh, I'll tell you what, we'll just put it down there. People rushed. Okay, anything else in the people area? All right, let's take a look at methods. Remember, methods are the procedure. Anything uh, in that area? Yeah, a lack of... Procedure, maybe? Okay. Lack of procedure. Okay. Anything else? Maybe the procedure wasn't followed. Ah. Maybe there is a procedure, right? But it uh, wasn't followed. Okay. What else? Procedure was unclear, maybe. Oh, okay. Unclear procedure. Okay, good. Anything else in the methods area? All right, let's move on to uh, environment. You know, what? maybe something uh, was uh, causing that uh, to be the, the problem here. So what about environment? Maybe it was too messy so they didn't notice the pen. <laughs> yeah, that could be, could be it, too messy. Anything else? Yeah, maybe a, a high pressure should get the plane out. Ah, uh, yeah, right. We're always under high pressure to get the uh, plane out, right? So, high pressure, right, to get the plane out. Okay, anything else? Maybe it was too cold for the tow bar. Ah, uh, too cold, okay. Okay, anything else? No. Okay. Anybody have anything else in any other category that you want to add? No? I think we're pretty, pretty well exhausted with uh, root causes, right? Okay, now what we have to do is we have to narrow this root cause down to something that, is, uh, that we can work on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff up here, right? So what I want you to do is you look at, look at all of these possible root causes. And uh, I'm going to give uh, each of you five check marks. All right, and uh, I'm going to get five check marks also, and we're going to. I want you to tell me how many check marks you want by a specific thing that you really think is the root cause of that problem. So we'll start out with Lee. Is there any particular problem that you think is absolutely the problem? Um, no observation by the people. Okay, no observation. How many check marks do you want to give that? I'm going to write that down here. Let me, uh, in fact, let me write it up here so you can all see it. No observation. How many check marks you want to give that? I'd say three. Okay. All right, so we have three check marks there. 
Uh, is there anyone that you want to, um, Sammy, you want to give, uh, you want to, want us to write up there and give check marks to? Yeah, I would say it was an a old tall bar. Old tall bar? Yes. How many check marks you want to give I'd that? I'd say like three as well. Okay, give three there. Okay. Uh, so you all have uh, two check marks left. So is there anything else that you want to list up there? I think it was the training. Ah, training. Okay. You want to give that two, your two check marks there? Anything you want to add to this, Sammy? Yes, maybe uh, the pin was not secured properly. Okay, not secured. Okay. Want to give that two check marks? Yes. All right, two check marks. Okay. All right. One of the things that uh, that uh, I agree with, I'm going to give uh, two check marks here to uh, no observation. But uh, I'm also going to give. Uh, I'm also going to list uh, no procedure. All right. I know there is a procedure there, but it's really bad, and I'm going to give uh, three check marks there. So it's a consensus here that uh, we pretty much have um, no observation by the people. This could be a culture problem that we have in our company. And also, uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, procedure, and we'll take a look at the hardware also. So there, we narrowed all of this down really to three areas, and what we'll do is we'll break those areas up. We'll give the uh, procedure portion to uh, the department to determine that procedure. We'll take a look at uh, the tow bar itself to see if we can uh, work with that. And then I think we need to have some training uh, after we get the procedure done. So, so this is uh, how we use the fishbone diagram to help us narrow down the root cause of a specific problem. And I hope that you can take this and uh, utilize this in your company as we did with the uh, people here from Titan Air. All right, so any questions, email me and uh, I'll tell you uh, how to help you through this process of root cause analysis.